looking backwards, uh, you know, it was a good weekend. We were certainly pleased to get out of uh, uh, Madison with the win last weekend. Happy about that. Uh, on the positive front, uh, I think we came out of the game pretty healthy. Uh, but just to uh, keep our string alive, you know, instead of having the flu this week, we've got five players that have an exam this afternoon right during the middle of practice. So, uh, you know, just another Tuesday with uh, some key players missing. So, anyway, but that's, I guess, better than the flu. They do okay on the test. Uh, captains will be the same. We've got uh, Pat Anger, uh, AJ East, Tony Molinaki, and, and Rick Stanz. will be our captains again. And uh, you know, heading up to East Lansing, you know, it's kind of pretty similar to last week or a lot of the weeks we've been playing. We're, we're playing a uh, another very tough opponent uh, in a tough environment, and uh, it's a, a tough opponent who's playing very well right now. And uh, it was certainly the case uh, the last couple weeks. It was certainly the case. We went up to uh, out to State College and. I don't see this game being any different, so it's just going to be another tough football game for us, tough challenge, and we'll get to work today and see see what happens. Kirk, when the, uh, the first BCS standings came out of, on Sunday, were you surprised to see that the, I guess the last unbeaten team in the Big Ten, a team with a resume as impressive as yours, was, the, I guess, the lowest among all the unbeatens from major conferences? You know, uh, impressive resume, those are your words, not ours, uh, and apparently not many people are buying that, so... I thought there might be a question about the uh, BCS. You know, I thought there might come up. <laughs> just took a wild shot. Somebody told me there's a three-hour program uh, about college football and the BCS on Sunday night. Can't imagine anybody watch that one start to finish. But if you did, <laughs> you know, that's good for you. Uh, but, you know, fortunately, I got some guys helping me out upstairs. I had somebody do a little research. Just a quick one for you. The teams that were 6 through 10 last year uh, in the initial poll, anybody want to take a shot where they finished? Three moved down, one stayed the same, and one moved from 10 to 1. So uh, the conclusion there is that you could go up, you could go down, or you might stay the same. So that's about all I took out of that whole thing. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's October 20th, so you know, I'm not too worried about any of that stuff right now. <laughs> it's almost kind of amusing, but I, I, apparently it's helping fill air time, so that's great. And it's, it's good for college football as far as, you know, people paying attention, talking football. So. I guess all good stuff. It brings about questions, though, on national talk shows that in schools fairly or unfairly get ripped. I'm sure you don't care much about that, but it certainly fires up the fans. Yeah, which, you know, that's good. That's good for the game. That's a positive thing. And uh, we, we weren't in the talks last year, but, you know, I had half an ear out there listening to it. And a lot of good discourse, a lot of arguments about uh, the Big 12 in particular. I remember that, you know, being a hot topic of conversation, which team deserved the. Uh, to beware, and you know, you know, the bottom line really is, if you win all your games, uh, it doesn't matter, with the exception of Auburn that one year, whatever year that would have been. So that, that's probably about the only safe way to get through it, and that's still no guarantee. But it's probably the safest path. Odds of that happening any for anybody are really pretty minimal based on recent history. Hasn't there always been arguing though whether it was over a split national championship? Is, yeah. it, is it heightened because of the BCS? I mean, yeah. Well, I remember uh, as a kid, you know, Penn State and Texas. One year, I think the president, whoever it was at that time, uh, might have been the same president that was was in office when we beat Michigan State last time. We were in East Lansing, uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, that that president called Texas's locker room, then called Penn State. You know, and was, that was Nixon. Yeah, was a little, everybody's kind of mad about that in Pennsylvania, but um, yeah. So you know, it's part of college football. It's probably a healthy thing. I think it's probably why the BCS exists.